Chef Tony Bomba from Lago is in the News 9 kitchen today. I love saying your name. Bomba, Tony Bomba, Chef Thanks. Bomba. Thanks. I was in it too. Uh, but you're making scallops, and I'm everyone making... here is talking about the fact that you're cooking scallops. Everyone's anxious to try them when you're done. So what are you doing right so there? So we have one of our uh, premier dishes. This is our uh, scallop dish, and mm -hmm. it's really a, uh, in my opinion, kind of a, a trans-seasonal kind of item where we have, you know, some vibrance of our corn pico de gallo, our sweet corn blanc, and then these really nice lush scallops and what I did just a little bit of oil in the pan um, season my scallops uh, liberally and I'm just gonna let the hot pan and the scallops do the work a lot of times when people cook scallops at home they overcook them so they turn into like little rubber bullets right. and so what we're trying to do is um, save the integrity of the scallops not too much oil you're not trying to deep fry the scallops but um, we're trying to get them nice this opaque hue in the middle nice lush and juicy and so let's take about 45 seconds. So we're going to go about 45 on each side. We're ready to go. We're going to serve it right on this plate. And uh, when they're fresh, that's all you need, right? That's all you need. Uh, the, the scallop and the pan will pretty much tell you when they're ready, and there's nothing that compares to a nice fresh scallop. How do you know? Just 45 seconds? And Just then 40, putting... Exactly. So these are delicate, vibrant, light. Um, and, you know, a lot of times when you get like frozen scallops and they're waterlogged and you see all the moisture coming out, these are the epitome of a beautiful scallop where mm -hmm. they're just uh, really vibrant and really have this natural sweetness to them that really complements all the stuff in the And dish. you're not seeing the water come out. But I love how you have this plated with the corn husk. That is so creative. Absolutely. Um, you know, Lago, we're good about using every part um, of an item. So mm -hmm. from the husk to the corn, using the corn again in our Blanc. Um, we really came off a great, great summer. Um, you know, we, our, our guest count were up. People are happy. Um, we're pushing the envelope a bit on what it is. I call it culinary, culinary anarchy, <laughs> and uh, really kind of making our dish approachable, but also comforting at the same time. All right, so you get a little golden. Yep, nice caramelization the on the outside. That looks great. Um, and I know that you're also involved with not just Lago, but... Camp as well, camp. yes, yes. So uh, camp, um, as the viewers at home may know it, is this, used to be this small 13-table restaurant. We doubled the size. We're beer-centric. Um, we still have our comfort foods at Harp. We put a little bit of a gastro twist on them. We have like lobster corn dogs, wasabi deviled eggs. We make a ramen cake out of 30 cent ramen and press that so that's our starch on the plate. Hmm. Um, really adventurous, but also keeping that camper vibe um, that we have there. That's so great. these are almost done. I'm gonna let these go another 10 seconds, transfer them over here, and when they're done, I'm gonna top them with some crispy fried potatoes. And they're talking to me, and they're good. <laughs> so all these guys are gonna go right in the pool right here. There you go. I just love how you plate this up. And then some um, onions right on top. Yep, I got some crispy potato sticks mm -hmm. and then a little bit of pea tendrils. And it really is one of those dishes that transcends summer and fall and can really carry us right into winter. That looks great. It looks delicious. I think a lot of people around here are hungry. Thank you so much, Chef. Thanks Bob. for having me. I appreciate appreciate it. it. We'll be right back.